Hello folks, welcome back. This is Learning C Tutorial, your online learning companion. In this video, we will be discussing Mendel's experiment on garden tree plants. I'll be covering the following topics. Mendel's monohybrid and dihybrid experiment, why Mendel selected garden pea plants, and different traits of pea plants used by him. At the end of this video, I will also be giving you tips on key points to write if you get this question. So keep watching and subscribe to my channel to get updates on new videos. First, we will learn about Mendel's monohybrid experiment. In this experiment, Mendel cross-pollinated plants that had only one set of contrasting traits. I'll be using the trait height of the plant to explain this experiment to you. The alleles for this trait are tall and short. Tall is the dominant allele, so we will represent it with the uppercase T. And short is the recessive allele, so we will represent it with smaller case T. In the parent generation, the cross-pollination is done with pure tall and pure short plants, which have genotype uppercase TT and smaller case TT. All the offsprings formed in the F1 generation were observed to be tall. So their phenotype was the same and all of them had the genotype uppercase T, smaller case T. That is, they had received one tall and one short gene from each parents. Let's see how this happens. In sexual reproduction, each gamete will receive only one allele. Since we are using only one contrasting character, there are four possibilities for the offspring as shown here. F1 stands for first filial generation, which denotes offspring of a cross-pollination. In the next stage of this experiment, Mendel cross-pollinated two plants from the F1 generation. The F2 generation thus formed had offsprings with different genotype and phenotype. Each parent of F1 generation here has the phenotype capital T small t. So each gamete receives either a tall allele or a short allele. After cross-pollination, there are four possibilities for the offspring as shown here. The phenotype ratio observed was 3 is to 1. That is, if there are four offsprings formed, three of them are tall and one of them is short. The genotype ratio was 1 is to 2 is to 1. That is, one of the offsprings were pure tall and two offsprings had both tall and short gene and one offspring was pure short. Now, in Mendel's dihybrid experiment, he cross-pollinated plants that had two sets of contrasting traits. I'll be using the traits shape and color of the seed to explain this experiment to you. The alleles for the shape are round and wrinkled and alleles for the trait color are yellow and green. Round shape and yellow color are dominant traits. Wrinkle shape and green color are recessive traits. So we can represent them as shown here. In the parent generation, the cross-pollination is done between a plant that has round shaped yellow colored seeds and wrinkle shaped green colored seeds. Represented with the genotype, uppercase RRYY, and lowercase rryy respectively. Each parent gamete receives one set of alleles as shown here. The offsprings therefore have four possibilities. It was observed that all the plants in F1 generation had their phenotype round shape with yellow color and all the plants had the genotype uppercase R, smaller case R, uppercase Y, smaller case Y. Now two plants from F1 generation were cross-pollinated. The genotype and phenotype for F2 generation can be expressed in Punnett square. 
I'll show you how the square is formed now. There are four possibilities for each gamete like this. Similarly, for other parents gamete, there are four possibilities. After cross-pollination, there are 16 probabilities for the offsprings. For example, the first one here receive gametes, both of which have round shape and yellow color genes. So, the, so here the offspring will have the genotype uppercase RRYY. Similarly, we can write the genotype for other cases. The genotype ratio is quite complex. So what you have to learn here is how to write the phenotype and its ratio. The phenotype ratio is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. That is, 9 plants are observed to have a round and yellow seeds, 3 have wrinkled yellow seeds, 3 have round green seeds, and 1 have wrinkled green seed. One of the questions associated with Mendel experiment is that why Mendel used garden pea plants for his experiments? Gregor Mendel is regarded as the father of modern genetics. Based on his monohybrid and dihybrid experiments, which we are learning now, he wrote laws of inheritance that laid the foundation for genetics. Garden pea plants, whose scientific name is Pisum sativum, have a lot of varieties and they have lots of visible contrasting traits, some of which we saw earlier. They are bisexual flowers. This means that they have both male and female reproductive parts in their flower and can do self-pollination. But by removing the male part, we can do artificial pollination to get desired variety. This helped Mendel with his experiments. They are also easy to cultivate and different breeds are easily available. They are annual plants, that is, you can see the yield in a year and, and he didn't have to wait for a long time to observe the result of his experiment. For all these reasons, Mendel used pea plants in his experiment. So for this question, the key points are, garden pea plants have lots of varieties and have visible contrasting traits. Second point is that they are bisexual flowers, but by masking the male part, we can do cross-pollination to get the desired variety. Third point, they are easy to cultivate. And fourth point is that they are annual plants. So we can observe the result in a shorter duration. Next, let's see the seven contrasting characteristics used by Mendel in his experiments. Seed shape, round and wrinkled. Seed color, yellow and green. Color of the flower, violet and white. Shape of the pod, full and constricted. Color of the pod, yellow and green. Position of the flower, axial and terminal. And height of the plant, tall and short. Now let's see the key points for the question Mendel's monohybrid experiment. Mendel used one contrasting trait, for example, height of the plant. You can choose another trait to explain your answer. Alleles for the trait and their representation. In the parent generation, cross-pollination was done between pure tall and pure short plants. The resultant F1 generation had the genotype uppercase T, smaller case T. Phenotype was all plants were tall. In the next step, the cross-pollination was done between two plants of F1 generation. The resultant F2 generation had genotype ratio 1 is to 2 is to 1 and phenotype ratio 3 is to 1. If it is a long answer question, you can also include the steps as to how you get the genotype and phenotype ratios as shown in the video earlier. Similar to this, you can write the answer for Mendel's dihybrid experiment. The key points are as follows. Please find the notes for this topic in the description below. That's all for now. If you found this video useful, please do like and share. 
and subscribe to my channel to get updates on new videos. Happy learning. Thank you. Bye-bye.